PC is really taking all of PS5 and PS4 exclusives. Like, they're taking all of their games. And the Sony fanboys cannot take it. And not only that, guys, I just got another update in these gaming streets. Miles Morales is on the way. Uncharted is on the way. The collection, the Nathan Drake collection is on the way. Um, of course, The Last of Us. God of War, all original, all original God of War trilogies is on the way to PC. All of them. Every God of War, even God of War Ragnarok will be on PC. Bro, you don't even need a PS5. You don't need a PS4. All you need is a PC. I'm talking about, this is a crazy list that I ran into. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to help you guys out. I'm trying to help the Sony fans out and the Xbox fans and the PC fanboys. Like, I'm trying to help y'all guys out. You know what I'm talking about? So I can let y'all guys know what's going down. So you have all of those. You have Ratchet and Clank is on the way. You know what I'm talking about? Now, that is a hit that I didn't, I really didn't see coming. Like, Ratchet and Clank, I really was like, I knew it was going to be announced. But I, they, 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 they don't have them dated yet But we do know I think fall or something like that They was talking about They're going to bring out um, Miles Morales And uh, Uncharted um, You know the collection edition um, Those are huge AAA bangers Coming over from PS5 and PS4 And I think some PS3 as well um, Some remasters on the way They have some more remastered games on the way too as well so PC is going to be the place to be. I kid you not, guys. Like, there is no reason not to have a PC. Like, if if anyone has like, oh man, which one has the most value over Xbox? It would be PC, bro. Like that. That is. A, this is the. This is not even. Not even playing around. Like as these articles and news and leaks are being leaked. And I'm finding out about them. I'm going to deliver them to you guys. So you guys won't be lost in the sauce. You know what I'm talking about? So some people are going to have that little big planet. Then, you know, infamous. Then you got dreams. Ghost of Tsushima is another triple A banger. I'm talking. <laughs> Man. I don't know what deal Sony and Microsoft PC done. You know, I don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. I don't know the deal arrangements, but I do know Sony is anti-consumer. And when they're making these deals, these are pretty much cash grabs for them so that they probably can either buy more studios or create more AAA bangers. But who really knows? Because I really don't know the direction that they're going in. Maybe they may take some of that, that money and try to make movies. Maybe it, maybe there's a ghost a ghost of Tsushima movie. I I think I did hear of that. I don't know if they're gonna try to make a ghost of Tsushima TV series or a movie, but I'm almost sure I'm gonna I'm gonna dig more into that one. But I think that's where Sony's using some of this gaming money. I think they're I think they're pouring it over to their production companies as well. So, you know, they're, they're pretty much spreading money out all through the company. So, Sony, they they do a lot of bad stuff, but they do stuff to make you, like, interested. Like, basically make you want to buy into what they're doing. But the meantime, they're still going to backstab you in the end. You're going to find out you're, you're actually taking the L. Later on, they done overcharge you for something. They um they're being anti-consumer with something. I don't know. It's always a catch with Sony. It's always, always, always a catch with Sony. I don't know why. Like you never can just you, <laughs> you never can just be all in with them. It's like okay, if I do something for you, you're gonna have to do something for me. And if that happens and you get caught up in the crossfire, you may be taking an L that you don't want to take from Sony. And you may be taking like a five billion dollar L, something of that nature, later on down the line, when you find out like, wait, wait a minute, wow, how did this happen? How how are they overcharging their own fan base? Wondering why people are switching over to Xbox, Game Pass, and PC. 
Like like how how are you how 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 was this supposed to be good for the fan base? Wonder why they're having a low engagement rate. Do you know how bad that is for for PS5 to have a low engagement rate? That means that means a lot of people are not engaging with the games, meaning they're not selling as hot as they want them to sell, meaning people can't play them and buy them because there's a chip shortage. That's what low engagement means. That means you people are not communicating on the service. People are not buying all these microtransactions like they should be. Yeah, they have a few million people on there, but it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? So that's why everything has to come over to PC. So if a lot of people was wondering, why, why are they giving up all our exclusives? You know, a lot of Sony fanboys, I can't understand your pain. You know, they, they were, I'm not gonna lie, it, there were a lot of promises that Sony made. This whole going into this generation, we believe in generations, right? If you diehard fans out there, you know what I'm talking about. They believe in they, they wanna they wanna bring back um backwards compatibility and all that and uh, all these remakes and all that stuff and keep these triple A bangers um rolling out these uh self story single player driven games adventure action adventure games coming out because that is their DNA and uh, and we all know that is most players kryptonite those triple A bangers single player action adventure games role playing games that is the kryptonite to most players pc players as well they love those strategy type role-playing games that's what that's what built pc platform up in the first place so so technically sony sony playstation dna fits pc perfect if you really think about it and combined with game pass they have multiplayer too as well with xbox dna that's why i i really feel like pc is the place to be because if you are an all-out casual gamer like you you don't care about no console war you don't care about no fans fighting back and forth no sony ponies you know you don't care about that stuff you just want a game you know what i'm talking about pc will be the place to play because they, they are going to have coming right behind the Spider-Man remastered. They are going to have Miles Morales on the way too. You know, these are some huge updates on the way, guys. These are some real big deals that a lot of Sony fans are not going to agree with. Because they are being stripped from everything, bare bone. They don't have nothing left to argue and fight with. I'm talking about, you already know, the King Decepticon. The King Decepticon Sony the, the owner The business But They do have The gold mine And that's the Playstation brand And with, with We all can agree They have some of the best AAA bangers On the planet No one can top them That's their secret sauce That's their kryptonite To most gamers Once you Once you grab that controller And you have that Single player action adventure story driven experience you fall in love with them and they know that but there's a but they use that to their advantage to rip off their own fan base what i don't agree with because it's like you're giving me it's like you're giving me something great but you're taking it back at the same time so it's like it's stealing the fun and joy in gaming it's like you're like you're taking the fun out of gaming because now you're making it all about business and it's like okay i can't just enjoy my game because you want to charge you want to upcharge me 70 dollars you're marking up prices you're you're you're, you're charging extra 30 percent for for digital games and, and dlc packs and and all of these microtransactions are going up 30 percent so that you can fill your pockets up but you're still not giving us a Days Gone Part 2. You're not making a, a spinoff from Last of Us. It's, instead, you're doing a, a remake. You're not You're not going how The Last of Us, how it really all started, you know, and going back way before everything started, just coming up with and being creative instead of doing a remake, a rebuild or whatever, you know? Yes, of course, we're going to have 120 FPS, 120 FPS uh, frames per second on there with a uh, some type of boost mode or something. It's going to be incredible. We know we, you have the secret sauce. We know Sony have those AAA banger story driven action adventure 
games. We know that. We're not dumb. Okay, we get it. We get it. But at the same time, I know you guys were asking for, you guys have been asking for, okay, they're taking everything, so we're going to need something in return, right? Sony's going to need something in return. The only thing I can really, really think of that they can give the Sony fan base in return is to actually do better with PlayStation Plus Premium. Make those trip, make some separate AAA bangers, but only come to PlayStation Plus Premium. Okay, they're gonna have the exclusives on that. Make more exclusives. That's what you're good at, right? You're good at locking down deals. You're good at buying up studios, anyways. We we all can pretty much agree on that. We all know Sony. We all know <laughs> these little gatekeeping, little greedy monsters. You know, so you know roaches. You know, we, we already know that they, they are very, very good at that. But but we have to get a fan base something. And so that's why they do have Ghost of Tsushima is coming to PC. So that'll give some PlayStation fans a new experience, a new direction to go. Because I can kind of tell they're getting frustrated. A lot of Sony, a lot of Sony fanboys are not really admitting it or saying anything, but you can see it in their eyes. You can just hear it in their voice, like, bro, we don't have nothing. We're, we're already behind schedule. We're already behind schedule in this generation. They already can't make enough PS5s already due to a chip shortage and scalpers. They're being scalped left and right. Chip shortage, they can't keep up with demand, even in their own country. Xbox is taking over with Game Pass and Xbox. So you, PC stealing all their games. So we gotta come up with another solution. We, we have to come up with something else that can make the experience better for the Sony fans because we already know Xbox fans good. So, you know, they're good. They got Game Pass over there on fire. So I'm just wondering what, what is Sony gonna do about their fan base here? Cause they're giving up all their exclusives. And it's just, it just, it's slowly, slowly bringing down that console war wall. You know, it's tearing it down every day every day i'm fine i'm finding out new new i'm finding out new things about it. i'm learning new things and i'm moving and i'm grooving and i'm seeing what's going down in these gaming streets and it's crazy because you guys are so talented too as well i see a lot a lot of people on youtube can be a very great game creator or a content creator a lot of PC guys, a lot of Sony guys, a lot of Xbox guys. Even Nintendo may be sprinkled in there as well. You guys can change it too. See what I'm saying? See, you don't always have to sit back and take the back seat and not stand up and do do what's right. That's what I chose to do. I chose to go with Sony because I seen this coming a mile away before this news was announced. You can go back and look. You can go back and look a few weeks back when I already came out and I said, man, something has to be done by Sony, man. Somebody had to stand up and complain and, 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 and just, you know, bring this to justice and stop them from being so greedy, grimy, backstabbing, scheming, shady, low down, dirty. Sony, like someone has to stop them because this is what happened. The gamers get hurt. The consumers, you know, y'all y'all are the people that get hurt in the middle when somebody don't see this is what happened when you just let someone just keep keep bullying you and bullying and bullying year after year after year. Like it don't it don't matter. Nobody steps in, nobody says anything. All they do is oh Sony, you know this. Sony has the best games in the world. We're on top. I'm on the Sony team. Xbox ain't got nothing. Xbox ain't got nothing. No games. Nothing but Halo 4s and Gears. You don't got nothing. You don't got nothing. Now all that chatter is coming to a slow stop because now Sony ain't got no games. You seen the guy sending threats about Spider-Man. Everybody seen it. Threatening, threatening Sony because he felt like what's the point of having a PS5 if all of their exclusives are going to PC and maybe even on uh, Xbox Game Pass in the future. Now I will say this. I will say this. Could this be another business strategy for Sony to keep Call of Duty on their platform because they need that 30% coming in? 
and they're begging they're begging microsoft xbox game pass pc not to pull call of duty in the next two to three years i'm i'm somewhere around that range i think it's like two or three more call of duties and that's pretty much the end of it and they have if they don't renew that contract if they just leave i would say uh um warzone or warzone 2 or whatever they want to do with warzone they just leave warzone on there what are they gonna do y'all what, what what like what do you think what is sony really gonna do what are they really gonna do so it's got to be it's got it's got to be an answer to it like that's the question that i have are they giving up all of their exclusives just to keep one big juggernaut are they doing that to keep call of duty around because if you really think about it man what else reason would sony need to be trying to be friend trying to be friend their friend of me like like we know we don't like xbox xbox no sony don't like them they're not your friend what i always tell you guys every every single day you can't trust sony they're not your friend when it comes when it comes between money and you and sony money is going to win every single time their greed is going to take over it consumed them already that's their kryptonite is money and the exclusives is the fans kryptonite so that that's the problem here everybody have a weakness everybody has a weakness y'all everybody so we can't just sit here and play like we don't know what's going on and nobody wants to pay attention to these deals being made like okay they they are the only company so far had a problem with this call of duty activision deal we can't compete we can't build a game as good as call of duty but now all of a sudden we're giving up every last exclusive to our name we're finna go bankrupt over here giving up all our exclusives do you think they care because call of duty makes up for every exclusive that they're giving up to pc and that's a cash grab so that's extra revenues going over to sony so that's not even it's not really that's a bad deal it's more like a a so-called friend me kind of friendship deal they're trying to do show a little or more and say we are kind of sorry we made it exclusive can you please keep call of duty on our platform i'm really thinking they're begging but they they have so much pride it will never come out and just say microsoft can you please <laughs> Keep COD, that triple A banger, that, that's on the top of the charts every single year, like a Madden or 2K. They come out every single year like Madden 2K MLB, like a sports game. Can you please keep this on PS5 and PS4 Pro? Can you please? So we're gonna give you every exclusive. Not only that, they got more coming. They got Horizon Forbidden West and Gran Turismo 7. Bro, that is every exclusive game coming to PC. They bundled. I, I can't make this up, bro. These are art these are <laughs> these are articles, these are updates that's coming out. Like, like when I was telling you guys, there's probably no reason to go out your way to get a PS5. There is no reason to go out your way and get a PS5, bro. Just get the subscription service. Just get PlayStation Plus Premium if you can't build a PC. Just get a decent enough PC with an AMD or Intel with a, or, or i7 or whatever core i7 or whatever or amd the biggest you know you can you can find one that can be gameable but it don't really have to be a built you can actually live screen games bro with your ethernet cable live screen playstation plus premium i will put the i will put the link at the end of the at the end of the video i will put the link in the description so you guys on pc can go download it and try it out yourself I'm not capping with you guys. This is this is real. This is like really what's going on in these gaming streets right now. So you got to jump on the wagon. You got to jump. You got to jump on the bandwagon. It's moving too fast, and I get it. A lot of people can't keep up. They're like, wait a minute. Do I want to pay seventy, or do I just save up and just go buy an awesome laptop or a PC? You know. 
most most people already have a PC. Most, I mean, or you know, if you want to be on Game Pass as well, everyone has a phone, so you can get on Game Pass too for people that's kind of skeptical and just kind of want to see what it's kind of like. I'll put the link in the description for Game Pass as well. You can sign up for it, and if you download the app on your mobile phone, it will sign on. You can sign in through your um computer browser or you can download the app on your mobile phone and if you want to play it on if you want to play playstation plus premium you need to be on your uh pc or laptop browser download it download the app to the um pc and then subscribe to it you know so i choose to use paypal or something like that nature i don't really recommend you know trying to buy a uh PS PlayStation card or something like that but um you can kind of choose the way that you really want to go or the route that you really want to go but bro back to what I was saying man this is crazy that all of their exclusives is coming to PC and this is real and you guys are gonna have to make a choice what do you want to do you're gonna stick around while Sony is over here sinking their ship their battleship is going down or are you gonna come on the safe side and be worth secure and you know everyone got your back and they're just over having fun partying, you know, <laughs> and not really stressing about nothing? Or you got this bad leader over here, Sony, is just pretty much destroying their own brand single handedly right now because they're having a meltdown. Because they can't take they couldn't take the thought of being second in the market. The market leader. They couldn't take to be the second or third. <laughs> Bloodborne of course Returnals of course is coming Sack Boy is on the way And and the biggest of the biggest boss God of War Ragnarok Will be on the way to PC In the near future And um, I'm like once again Once again I'm sorry I'm sorry to the Sony fans out there man I know, I know this is hard for you guys to take in Hearing bro All of your games is pretty much stripped away from you Bare bone Like you don't have nothing like and th this was the pride and joy of you guys actually going out your way to get it and now a couple years later this is a, this is being announced like why would why would i even have went out my why that's killing the excitement that's killing the joy for people who are in the console wars and the deep into gaming like politics this is bad for them really bad regular casual gamers this may just blow over their head they, don't, they might not really care but people that are actually in console wars, like this is real. This is just real. Like I know, I know this is gonna hurt them because it's like, bro, why in the world did I go get a PS5? I should have just got a PC or or Xbox, bro. Because it's coming over there anyways, and you're gonna get the best of both worlds anyway. It's like, and then Sony is making all these crazy deals. They're making movies out of games. They should be making a part two. They're doing blocking deals, blocking rights. They're blocking games. They're stopping games. They want games to come to PC. They want to make movies. They're so confused. They're dibbing and dabbing and everything right now. They don't even have a direction. They're scared. Xbox is about to take over with this Call of Duty Activision deal in the near future. And a lot of people are going to miss out. Stop. Shareholders have already left Sony. And guess what? They took 20 billion with them. Sony lost 20 billion dollars. And then another five billion on top of that, they're about to get sued for. So you tell me if this the leader that you got, you Sony ponies, Sony fanboys really want to follow behind. So you tell me. <laughs> this is all entertainment for me though, man. I love you guys though, man. I love chopping it up with y'all, man. We always have fun. But I'm gonna leave it right there, man. And um, to next time, man, I will put the link in the description so you guys can go check those uh, PlayStation Plus Premium out if you are a PC guy or a mobile guy and PC guy for Xbox Game Pass. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned for what's coming tomorrow. And um, make sure you guys smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you guys can be updated on all of the new latest and greatest news off in these gaming streets. Thank you. Peace. Love you guys.